Featured images are often the last thing we think about when publishing a blog post, but they're quite often the first thing our visitors see, sometimes before they even visit our website. So it makes sense to put in a little bit more effort to make them look more appealing. The good news is, it's super easy, and when combined with what I'm going to show you towards the end of this video, you'll be smashing out featured images like they're going out of fashion. Hey there affiliate schoolers and a big welcome if you're new to the channel. Now most WordPress themes will require a featured image if you're using posts, but you can even include a featured image if you're creating content on pages just by adding them in yourself. And there's a good reason why you should put a little bit more focus and attention on your featured images. The biggest reason is that it confirms the search intent for the user. If I'm searching online for a Dyson vacuum cleaner and I'm served an image of a guy making coffee, then I'm at best going to be confused and read on, or at worst, I'm gonna head straight back to Google. The other key reason is that they make your website look more professional, but only if your images look good. Now you can use whatever image editing software you want. I tend to use Stencil or Canva. We'll look at Canva today as you have plenty of functionality in the free version to create featured images. Q, super quick guide to featured images in Canva. Now from the dashboard, you can choose a pre-made template or create from scratch. For ease, let's choose a template from the non-professional version of Canva. Make sure your dimensions fit those that work best with your theme. I tend to use 1200 pixels by 600 pixels for my featured images. The most important part of the featured image is probably, yeah, you guessed it, the image. So browse through the images in Canva and pick one that suits. Although Canva has some really good quality images to use, a few YouTubers have recently discovered that there are some issues with using certain sizes of images and then publishing them on the web. Now I'm not exactly sure what those restrictions are, so if you do have an idea of that, then please leave a comment down below. Irrespective of the Canva restrictions on images, I tend to try and avoid using free stock imagery just because I want my images to be more unique and to really pop. So I tend to use paid stock images and then make adjustments to them. In the past, I've used Adobe stock images, but it is expensive at around 24 pounds per month for just 10 images per month. More recently, I've been using deposit photos. They've got a fantastic library of images and every now and again, like they have now, they have a special offer that gives you about 10 times the value of Adobe stock images. And to be honest, their images are just as good. And I'll leave a, a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do use it, thank you very much for that, but it really is great value. Now, I'm going to show you Deposit Photos and Canva in action just in a second, but before I do that, if you're getting value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could bop that like button. The promotional offer on Deposit Photos works out at $39 for 100 images, which if we compare it to their normal one-off pricing is a massive discount. It would usually cost £239, which is probably closer to $300, so it really is a great deal. And it's really simple to use. You simply choose the topic that you, that you want, you browse for the photo that you want, and then you download it, and that uses one credit. Then we simply upload the image into Canva, we can use it as the background and make any amendments that we wish, such as making it darker or lighter, cropping it and, and so on. Because we've got such a high resolution image, we really can be quite creative with how we use this as a background. If your theme does not add the post title over the image, or if you're creating a featured image for a page instead of a post, then I would suggest adding the title as the text. Of course, again, this is fully customizable within Canva. So include your color scheme in the design and then download, making sure to compress the image before you download and including a keyword in the name of the image file. Simply upload to your page or post and you have a highly engaging, professional looking, unique featured image that should help your visitors to know they're in the right place when reading your page. If you do want to grab the image pack from Deposit Photos for $39, again, like I say, I'll leave the link in the description below. I tend to use it for most of my affiliate sites and it really is a highly cost-effective way of getting 
fairly unique imagery that is probably not used by the majority of other websites. It's also not going to land you in hot water with Canva or copyright issues further down the line. But if you're not quite ready to do that right now, then you might want to make sure you're mastering the rest of your on-page SEO by watching this video here, where I outline exactly what you need to do to get your on-page SEO spot on. Guys, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your projects.